Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to deploy a microprofile application to both Quarkus as well as full Whitefly and compare the memory consumption. So what is the application? The application is a simplistic uh, microprofile or Jakarta EE Lite application which comprises JSONB. So we have one uh, JSONB object called message, which is exposed via JSON. Then we have a hello resource. This is the JAXRS resource, which exposes the message via JSON, via JSON and injected greeter, which uh, the greeter is a request scoped uh, bean, and the greeter gets injected messenger, uh, which is also request scoped with injected config property, and everything is request scoped with a little bit injection to have a little bit more stuff going here. We have two POMs. One is QPOM, stands for Quarkus POM, and this Quarkus uh, ships with three extensions in our case. REST is a JSONB undertow. Why I need undertow? Because I will have, in Quarkus case, um, uh, run on different port, because I would like to run Whitefly on port 8080 and Quarkus on 8282, and uh, I would like to have identical, uh, identical uh, context URI to make them comparable. So now, and uh, so and um, that's the application. And in the case of Whitefly, this is a just stock thin war Jakarta application, just comprises two APIs. Both are provided, Jakarta API and MicroProfile API. So now I will have to kill uh, Visual Studio Code because it runs the language server. And what I would like to do, as you can see, it already uh, consumed one gig of memory, Visual Studio Code but now it should be gone, yeah, now it's gone. So, to start with the test, what I would like to do first is to reinstall Whitefly, because I would like to start with a fresh installation. Then, of course, I would like to start Whitefly, and then um, use what? What is what? What is a tool uh, which I've wrote as a simplistic one, it just uh, creates a war and copies to the, uh, to in our case, two uh, deployments from a standalone Whitefly. So now I can kill the what because it deployed the application already. So this should disappear. So now we should see that Whitefly consumes already 500 megs of RAM, which is somehow logical because it ships with minus XMX and minus XMS configuration out of the box. So uh, this was just stock, uh, stock installation I have here. So okay, now see whether it works. So um, I would like to do the uh, curl and uh, it just goes to localhost 8080 Quarkus versus Whitefly resources hello. So uh, let's try that and I get the response message hello. So it seems to work. And then instead of a curl, I could try the following. I could perform a simplistic test and run, let's say, five threads uh, 5,000 times. And uh, we should see, okay, we have uh, roughly 4,000 requests per second and it still consumes 540 max of uh, RAM. So now do the same with Quarkus. So I would like to build Quarkus first, and for this I will use the Quarkus POM XML, Maven, uh, sorry, uh, clean install. Um, yeah, just run the Quarkus build, and then I can just launch the runner because it should run on port 8282, which uh, we see here, 8282, and we see the Quarkus out of the box consumes 150 max of RAM. So now let's repeat the test. I do the same with the curl, and what I have to do differently, I will have to use the 8282, so the same response, and now do the Apache benchmark, and also in this case, I will have to use 8282. And we see it's a similar performance and uh, it consumes roughly 300 uh, megs of RAM now after the test. Now to compare both of, or take a look from the inside, I would like to use the J Visual, Visual VM and um, connect with both and see how much they're actually consuming internally. So this is the Quarkus generated main monitor and we see it consumes 95 max of RAM, just perform the GC, it's 14, so it's a tiny. And what's about uh, Whitefly or JBoss? Perform GC, uh, we see 40, so it consumes three times as much as Quarkus, so it's still, you know, not a lot. And we see it uh, comes max with 536 max of RAM. 
And the reason for that is uh, it ships with minus XMX, uh, 512 megs of RAM. So uh, this is the, the upper boundary. So now what I also did up front, uh, I used the native version. So what I would like to do is to kill the Quarkus now and it should disappear. And uh, I have in the native package exactly the same application as a native image. So just launch that and it launched immediately. So it's very quick, as you can see, 0027, and the other one was a half a second. So this is a very quick startup site, <laughs> startup site, startup time. And um, so let's uh, repeat the test. Uh, I would run to run this test first. So it is uh, quick. And as you can see, there is actually nothing to see why, because it's not a Java process. So I will have to take a look on runner. And we can see uh, the uh, the runner process here comes with 270 max of RAM in our case. And um, this NVC runner is another application, Quarkus application, which runs one uh, uh, on, on my machine right now. So, um, so let's check whether it actually works. I will just go with the curl, curl. 8282, as we can see, we get the response immediately. So what we see is that uh, the uh, the Quarkus application is significantly smaller than the Whitefly application, and um, it is uh, consumes at least a half the, of the of the typical Java application, and the runtime can be tiny. So this is, for instance, an, another REST service is running on my machine. It consumes 20 max. Now after the stress test, it consumes 20, 270 megabytes of RAM. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, workshops, um, or even projects. So big, big thanks and bye.